here's another example of how to add and subtract rational expressions. Uh, this looks a little bit more complicated than what we've seen so far. There's, uh, we have three fractions here, and uh, or three rational expressions, more properly said, uh, subtracted from one another, and clearly they don't have the same denominators, so we have to find a way to find the, the, low, the lowest common denominator. Now, uh, that would require us to uh, factor this uh, left denominator. Uh, these cannot be factored, so we'll leave those alone. And here I have a little, uh, hmm, a little piece of advice. I would think that this factored probably looks like the product of those two. I could go on a limb and say that's probably it. However, we don't know for sure. So let's, um, let's try and, and work this out first and see if I was right. Uh, sometimes the problems are set up that way and, um, and that makes it a little bit easier to kind of guess. Uh, one way to look at it is I multiply the 4x by the 3x, I get a 12x squared. If I multiply 3 times a negative 2, I get a minus 6, and it looks like that's probably it. If I factor that, it's probably the product of those two. But if you, didn't show, if you weren't sure, you didn't know, or uh, maybe it, it may not be that way, uh, how do you factor something like this? And let's do that on the side here. Uh, let's uh, take 12x squared plus x minus 6. I'm going to write that as a polynomial of four terms. In other words, I'm going to split these up. This is 12x squared minus 6, and I'm going to split the middle term up into the sum of two middle terms. And the two middle terms will have coefficients in such a way that the sum of those two numbers equals the one that I have here, and that the product of the two numbers that I have to come up with, the two coefficients of those two middle terms, are equal to the product of these two right here, which is 12 times minus 6, or minus 72. So I'm looking for two numbers that differ by 1. Uh, when I add them, I get 1. Um, one would be positive, one would be negative, and when I multiply, I get 72. So I'm probably looking at 7 times, no, not 7 times 8, but 8 times 9, because 8 times 9 is uh, 72. And so that means I'm probably looking for a, a positive eight, a positive nine, and a minus eight. So nine times a negative eight is minus seventy-two, and nine plus a negative eight is positive one. So then I come down here and I write this as twelve x squared plus nine x minus eight x minus six. And now I group them in groups of two. And I factor out what's common, and what's common here is a 3x, so I write 3x times 4x plus 3. If I multiply this back together, I get what I started with. And here I'm going to factor out, hmm, how about a minus 2? And then I get what I have left is a 4x plus 3. Now if I look at this term minus this term, I can see that clearly 4x plus 3 is common, so I can factor that out, so I get a 4x plus 3, and then what I have left is I have a 3x minus 2. And that's indeed equal to the two denominators that I had there, so my hunch was correct. The factored form of this is simply the product of the other two denominators. All right, so let me rewrite this now. This is equal to 15x plus 7 divided by 4x plus 3 times 3x minus 2. I still have the minus 2 times 4x plus 3, and I still have the minus x minus 3 over 3x minus 2. So now we can in earnest begin to uh, solve this. Uh, we need the common denominators. We can see that this has both denominators, 4x plus 3 and 3x minus 2. This one is missing the 3x minus 2, and that one is missing the 4x plus 3. So we're going to multiply this denominator by 3x minus 2. We're going to multiply this denominator by 4x plus 3, of course, whatever we do to denominators, we must do the same to the two numerators. So this cannot be written as 15x plus 7 over 4x plus 3 times 3x minus 2 minus 4x plus 3. And the two denominator, I'm going to multiply this denominator by 3x minus 2 which means I have to multiply this numerator by 3x minus 2. And then here I'm going to multiply this denominator by 4x plus 3, which means I have to multiply this numerator by 4x plus 3 as well. 
And again, a quick check will show you that we have made no mistakes so far. If I cancel these two out, I end up back with what I started with. If I cancel these two out, I have back what I started with over here. But now notice that all three denominators are common. So I can write this whole thing over one single denominator. So this is equal to over denominator of 4x plus 3 times 3x minus 2. Here I have a 15x plus 7. Here I have minus the product of these, so that would be 2 times 3x, which is 6x, and 2 times a negative 2, which is a negative 4. And here I have a minus the product of those two binomials. Now remember how you multiply binomials. So you multiply the first term with the next two terms in the second binomial. So we have 4x squared and plus 3x, and then you multiply this term with both of the terms in the second binomial. So this becomes minus 12x minus 3 plus 3 is a minus 9. And then you would simplify by getting rid of the brackets and applying the negative sign to everything that's inside the brackets. So this would be equal to 15x plus 7 minus 6x plus 4 minus 4x squared minus 3x plus 12x, and the minus times the minus is plus 9, all divided by the common denominator of 4x plus 3 times 3x minus 2. And now we have to combine like terms. So here we have a minus 4x squared. We have a 15x minus 6x, that's 9x, minus 4x, that's 5x, minus 3x, which is 2x, Plus 12x is plus 14x, so this is plus 14x. And then, find, then the numbers, we have plus 7, plus 4, which is plus 11, and plus 9 is plus 20. All divided over our common denominator. 4x plus 3 times 3x minus 2. Now, in this case, you can actually factor out a common factor of, out of the numerator. I'm going to factor out a negative 2 because that makes this first term a positive term, the x squared term will then be positive, and then we can see if we can actually factor this or not. All right, so this can be written as a negative 2 times 2x squared minus 7x minus 10, all divided by 4x plus 3 times 3x minus 2. And then finally, you would want to see if you can actually factor that numerator, 2x squared, and so to do that, we have to play a similar trick. We'll come over here. We write this as 2x squared minus 7x minus 10. We're going to rewrite the middle term in terms of the sum of two middle terms. So this can be then written as 2x squared minus 10, and this will then be written as the sum of two middle terms in such a way that the, uh, the sum of the two coefficients equal negative 7, and the product equal the product of these two, which is 2 times the negative 10, which is minus 20. So are there two numbers that add to a negative 7 and that when you multiply them, you get negative 20? Now, there's not a lot of choices. It would be uh, 20 and 1, um, 10 and 2, 5 and 4, but none of those numbers will add up to negative 7. So we say, no, we cannot factor that. And so then this would be the final answer for this particular uh, subtraction of rational expressions. Okay, yeah, if you know how to do this, you're in pretty good shape. Then you can pretty well do any one of these types of problems.